Hello, 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 YouTube and Mr. Fox. You asked for it, you get it. Adobe After Effects tutorials. So, what we're looking at today is advanced color correction, and I'm actually going to continue on from this and do a film effect, um, but that won't be up until later, maybe on a weekend or even the same time. Check it out. Um, so, what do I mean by advanced color correction? Well, it's very simple. What you do, you select your footage which is this footage right here, Come up, command plus to zoom in, or control plus, and you go effect, color correction, auto color. As you can see, it looks amazing, thank you for watching. Ha ha ha. Sorry, bad joke. Um, so yeah, um, it's not, that was in fact a joke, um, so you're probably thinking one of two things, one, um, this guy's a douchebag, or secondly, He's got a pretty big screen. It must be lovely to use After Effects on that screen. And the answer to both them statements: um, first off, yes, it is lovely. You should be jealous of this screen. And secondly, I'm not a douchebag. Um, now, this video clip is in fact from Andrew Kramer's Action Essentials 2. Um, so, Andrew Kramer, I've mentioned your name. Please don't come at me with your bare hands. Um, what do I mean by advanced color correction? Well, it's quite simple. Say this, I wanted to change this orange, I thought it was too ridiculous, and I wanted to make it darker, more desaturated, um, but I don't want to draw the oranges out of his blue shirt. So the idea is that you isolate all of the different elements and color correct it like that. For instance, the face, the face is too blended into the back. Um, so we'd have to go about fixing that. And so this does involve lots of camera tracking and all that good stuff, um, but is very beneficial. Now this clip is only like four seconds, but I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just, I'm just going to do two seconds, um, only because I want to get the technique across. In fact, I'm going to composition settings, just change it to two seconds zero zero okay right so now we've got two seconds of footage bravo let's get going um, so the first thing I want to do is do a new adjustment layer I'm gonna get used to this in fact while we've got it there we're gonna duplicate it a few times and um, we're gonna call the first one hit enter call it face um, and why are we calling it face well because we want his face. Um, I can zoom in even more, like that. Um, we can get a bit of his ear, not all of it, because um, we can feather it a bit anyway. Um, now, if you're working in professional industry, the idea is that you want to be feathering it like one pixel, and you want to be really tight with your um, with your rotoscoping. Now, rotoscoping is, in fact, the basis of professional compositing. There's a few main techniques, you've got camera mapping, um, you've got rotoscoping, all these work together but if you want to be a professional guy just practice rotoscoping. I know it's boring, well it's, it's not boring, if you enjoy special effects you shouldn't find it boring. So we've got the guy's face, um, next adjustment layer, in fact, or, um, yeah, next adjustment layer I'm gonna go for the gun. Why? Because at the moment the gun looks very matte and I want it to look a bit more glossy. And I can show you how to do that. Hold down the space bar to move the image around. Um, the idea is that we don't really want his hand in there. Um, so I'm sure you know. Um, now obviously this isn't really a tutorial about how to use the pen tool if you don't know how to use it. I'm sure there's loads of tutorials on the pen tool. Um, and also my rotoscoping is quick for time saving purposes. And I'm not going to include that iron sight because it means I'd have to then do a subtract mask as well. La -da -da. Now this kind of technique is built into most colour correctors and finishing programs such as Autodesk Shake, um, 
no, Autodesk Shake, what am I playing at? So I chose Apple Color and Autodesk Smoke. Not Shake, Smoke. Um, so we've got his gun there. And what we're going to do, we're going to track now. Um, right click on the footage. And track motion. And I want to choose like this area. Don't know how much it's going to move. And what we're going to do? Where's our track controls? Here we go. Right here. Ah, beautiful. Um, rotation as well. We can choose this light because I bet you. Our tracker is going to find this light with ease. Beautiful. Um, and just hit this analyze forward button. Boom. Oh my god. I did not see that one coming. Did you see that one coming? Look at that. It gets to about up there and spazzes out. Who just seen that one coming? And why did that happen? Well, basically, that got hidden. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do this again. Reduce the actual area image that we're tracking, reduce the size of it. Um, clearly that is not the best point to choose. Now the trouble is, is that lots of this looks the same, so I'm going to choose that there. And let's try again. Um, where did I have it? Like that. And like that. Let's analyze forward again. What is it playing at? Okay, right, so clearly this isn't going to work. And clearly, even though it seemed to work earlier, it is not working now, um, which is not very good. But you know what? Camera tracking, Google it, find something else. Or if you want it in, the, in a separate tutorial, I'll do it for you. But I'm just going to go over the techniques of advanced color correcting. So basically, the idea is that you isolate each individual component. So, for instance, I've got the gun selected. So, on the adjustment layer, which we're going to hit enter and rename gun, you're going to go effect, color correction, levels. I always like to do levels first because it gives us a chance to, you know do what we want. And now, how you give it a glossy effect is that basically you want lots of whites, but then the difference between whites and all the other colours is sharper. Um, so like, bring out some of the whites, but then crush the greys a bit more. And as you can see, it's a lot more metallic. Now that is a bit OTT. Um, Oh my god, this mouse. Um, and you also want to feather it a bit, so on the gun hit F and you can feather the mask a bit. His face. You want to affect. Color correction. We're going to go curves. We're going to boost it up a bit, create a bit of contrast. And also what you want to do for the face is, in fact, um, create a glow. Stylize glow. Um, well, obviously that is ridiculous, but what you want to do is increase the radius, decrease the intensity, so that it's very subtle, but it gives it a nice warm feel um, before, after. A lot nicer, we're gonna hit the F key, feather that a bit. Um, and when you're advanced colour correcting, you obviously want a whole unique feel to the scene in general, so that's why this top adjustment layer we're gonna hit enter and call it um, scene, and that is basically the entire scene. Um, now one thing, another thing is that it looks a bit dull if I'm honest with you this scene. Not much happening, not much going on. Um, 
if you really want to go in depth, what you can do is do a blur. What do I mean by that? New adjustment layer. 